What's going on, everybody? Shane here again to bring you an update on my search to make the LG V30 camera as good as the Pixel 2. So, if you saw my last video, what I posted was a video on uh, this post here, or this, uh, I guess I should say this web page uh, here, where I, I pointed you towards this um, series of ports of the Pixel 2 HDR Plus camera and these ports are actually for the OnePlus 3, OnePlus 3T, but they seem to work fairly well on my LG V30, and it gave my camera HDR+, and in certain situations, took the, the, the picture quality really up a couple notches on the V30 and really had it right there, you know, comparable to my wife's Pixel 2. By the way, um, quick, quick uh, little aside, I will have a side-by-side -side comparison video of this phone and my wife's Pixel 2, um, both using HDR Plus as a comparison. Uh, we'll have that soon. My wife's been out of town, took the phone with her. Obviously, it's her phone. Haven't been able to do that. So maybe we'll have some time where we're in the same state, and I'll be able to do some side-by-side -side pictures, and we'll, I'll, I'll have a comparison there. But for now, back to the subject at hand. So that port really um, made the, the, the rear-facing camera much better, and some of the, the later ports, you know, zero shutter lag was there, and the camera's working really well. It's not... It's not force closing or having any issues. Portrait mode is even working really well, which is fantastic. The problem still that remained with the V30 was the front-facing camera. It's trash. It's a really, really bad front-facing camera. So I continued searching, and what I wound up finding was a thread over here on XDA. And this guy here, um, what's his name here? He's from Kansas. You got a name, buddy? C Stark 27 I guess I should have guessed it from that, he started taking some of these ports and tweaking them for the V30. This is awesome. So this post here was from uh, yesterday, and he posted three, ver one, two, three, four versions. Counting's hard, guys. I'm sorry. Um, and so, you know, he said this was just a recommended version, but he said, you know, try these others if you have any issues with this one. So I tried this one. I downloaded it. And guess what? It works perfectly. Unlike in my last video, where you needed to configure things a certain way. This video, um, this version, you really don't. It's pretty much install it and you're off and running. And the beautiful thing about this is the front facing camera now has HDR plus and it now has portrait mode. And boy howdy, if you remember from my last video, the difference HDR plus makes in just regular shots, uh, get ready to be excited about the front facing camera. I'm so excited, I need to readjust how I'm saying, excuse me. So. Here we go. I'm going to show you a shot that I took minutes before I started recording this with the front-facing camera, and I'm going to show you the difference that it, in fact, does make. So, get ready to look at my, my ugly mug uh, twice, picture-in-picture picture style. So, this is a picture I took with the LG V30's built-in camera. I'm going to point out a few things to you. First off, it's, it's, it's kind of muddy. It's kind of washed out. Um, if I zoom in on some of my wife's things back here, the, uh, the map from Skyrim... I don't know what that city is called. City? Country. I don't know. Wasn't really into that game all that much. I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me. You can't even see it. It's all blurred out. It's gone. It, th there's just not a lot of detail here, which is really not great. So, then I used the front-facing camera on this port. Not portrait mode, just HDR Plus enabled. And I don't think I, I really need to, to, to talk about this too much, but... It's much clearer. You can see the individual hairs on my crappy, patchy beard. You can see the country in Skyrim. You can see much more detail in the background. I mean, this is this is just a far more colorful, more vibrant um, picture than than before. I mean, granted, it did also flip it, it reversed the image, but still, much more detail. Now let's jump over to portrait mode. Which, I mean, again, the comparison, when you go from this to this, are you kidding me? And guys, this is all in software, okay? And, and look, is it doing a perfect job of cutting out my, of cutting out my, um, my hair? No, it's not. But I bet if I didn't point that out, probably wouldn't have noticed it, right? It's not all that noticeable. This hair up here kind of got, kind of got fucked up. But I mean, again, 
if we're just strictly comparing them. Massive, massive improvement. So I'm going to leave the link to this post in the comments, comments in the description. Go to give that a download, install it on your phone, replace the old videos camera that I, I, I posted, and uninstall that. You no longer need it. This is much better. Install this one instead, and watch as your LG V30 takes one more step towards being just as good, maybe not, but close to as good as the Pixel 2 XL. So until next time, keep an eye out for that comparison video. I swear, I swear it's coming. I promise. But until next time, let me know what you think in the comments below. And stay nerdy, my friends.